Here's my little mechanical simulator to kind of show you what's going on. So here's my, my diff amp, Q1, Q2, the two load resistors, the tail current here. And uh, let's uh, imagine that the, you know, the vertical axis of this piece of paper represents volts. Okay, where I'm at zero volts down here and at nine volts up here at the top. So you can kind of almost you know, think of the elevation of where these little pointers are pointing as the voltage at each of those nodes. Okay, so if VB1 is equal to VB2, they're both at the same voltage level, the collector voltages are at the same level. But if VB1 goes up, okay, then more of the current goes into Q1, dropping more voltage across R1, and this voltage drops. Less current is going into Q2, so we have a less of an IR drop across R2, and its voltage goes up. And you can see that the circuit has gain, a small change in VB1 versus VB2 can mean a large change in the difference between V out 1 and V out 2. And the same holds true going in the other direction.